Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 2 to the x plus 2 to the x in the numerator and the denominator is made up of 4 to the x, but we have that three times. And the whole thing equals 1 over 24. Before we start solving this problem, I want you to think about this real quick and try to guess the answer. Okay, and then we'll check our work. Great. Now, when you have an equation like this, one of the things you should check is the basis okay I have a 2 to the x and I have a 4 to the x that's good because 4 is a power of 2 the next thing you need to check is are all exponents the same in this case they are and moreover we have like terms so they're not mixed around like this you know let's say you had an equation like this suppose that equals some number but they're kind of separated nicely so what can I do there's a couple of ways to approach this problem. Maybe I'll present a couple different methods. Let's start with the first one. For my first method, I want to use substitution. Okay, makes sense. And substitution works as follows. I'm going to set 2 to the x equal to a. Why? I don't know. Just wanted to pick a. And then this is going to give me the following. a plus a. And if 2 to the x is a, 4 to the x is just going to be a squared because if you square both sides you get 4 to the x so it's going to be a squared plus a squared plus a squared equals 1 over 24 awesome now what is a plus a 2a what is a squared plus a squared plus a squared 3a squared equals 1 over 24 quick question can a be 0 the answer is no you don't want that so if a is not 0, I can divide by a and simplify this. If I simplify this, what am I getting? Or if you don't want to simplify it, this is fine too. We can go ahead and cross multiply because a lot of times with equations, it's usually better not to simplify. So I just cross multiply. And then again, I know it's tempting. You want to simplify. You want to cancel out things. Don't do it. Put everything on the same side. It's safer. Okay. Now. Let's take out a common factor and ta-da, we get our solutions, right? Great. So from here we get a equals 0 and a equals 16. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. A cannot be 0. Why not? Because two reasons. 2 to the power x cannot be 0 because x needs to be negative infinity. That's not going to work. Second reason, we have a in the denominator. You can't divide by 0. And 0 over 0 is even worse, right? Which one is worse? What do you think? 1 over 0 or 0 over 0? Anyways, that's a different story. But a equals 0 must be rejected. Okay, so a equals 16 is only solution we have. What is a? a is 2 to the x. Awesome. If 2 to the x is equal to 16, 16 is 2 to the 4th power, in case you didn't know. And from here we get x equals 4 as the only, only solution to this equation. All right, so that is the first method. What else can we do? Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, shall we? So the second method uses a different idea, sort of. At least it doesn't use substitution, we know that. Again, try to guess. It's kind of hard to guess, isn't it? Anyways, pretend you don't know the answer from the first method. Maybe you just came. Okay, let's hide it. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to write the 2 to the x plus 2 to the x as 3. What am I talking about? Sorry. It's a little past midnight, so <laughs> that's normal. 2 to the x plus 2 to the x is 2 times 2 to the x. And 4 to the x written 3 times, that's 3 times 4 to the x. And that's equal to 1 over 24. Awesome. Now, can we simplify this? Maybe. But let's not do it like that. Let's do it this way. I'm going to separate the exponential piece because these two numbers have the same exponent. That means now we can divide the basis. And now I have 2 over 3. Hmm. Why don't I multiply by the reciprocal? That will be helpful, right? These are going to cancel out. And here 3 goes into 24 8 times. So this gives us 1 over 2 over 4, which can be written as 1 half to the power x equals 1 over 16. 
and ta-da, from here, x equals 4. You could get the answer directly without using any substitution at all. There's probably other ways to do this. Please let me know because this brings us to the end of this video. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.